Toronto's doing like the weird stuff, man. Making it weird, keeping it weird in Batu. Bright suns from Batu. We are back in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge today for the second food video from this new land. Today's video will kind of pick up all the things that we didn't get from our first visit and we'll really round out all of the food and beverage offerings that they have here. We're gonna start off with what they have at Ronto's Roasters. First up is the Ronto wrap. We have roasted pork, a grilled pork sausage, and this is a Szechuan peppercorn sauce. It usually comes with a slaw on it, but I opted to get it without. It's so good. I love this. I still think this is one of the best things that you can get in Batu. This and the ribs are like tied for first. This pork sausage has a really nice snap to it. The roasted pork has a really nice kind of like smoky roasted flavor. But I gotta tell you all about this peppercorn sauce. Here we finally got to the peppercorn sauce. And this stuff is made with a special peppercorn that isn't spicy, but instead it makes your mouth like really tingly. The first time that I had it, it was so weird. I legit thought that I was having an allergic reaction. Um, it makes your mouth tingly, it makes it a little bit numb, it makes your lips feel weird. If you get too much of it, it like is bizarre. So if it starts happening to you, don't like immediately freak out. Um, it's kind of supposed to do that. It's a space hot dog. Yeah. Is the peppercorn sauce doing weird stuff for you? No, yeah, but I only have one bite. Ronto's Roasters also has a lot of special beverages. This one is the Sour Sarlacc. It is limeade with raspberry and spicy mango. You can kind of smell all of the things in it. <coughs> oh, I don't like that at all. Aldi. What is it? It's sour and spicy. I would not get this again. I like it. <laughs> Is it, do, you, do you have the spice yet or no? I get, it's not too it's spicy, spicy for me. It's, it's like a light spice. I hate it. <laughs> Aldi also got the wrap, but he got the slaw on it as it normally comes. Oh, I didn't even know. That's the face of a guy who likes it. Ronto Roasters also has this Nuna turkey jerky. They have a sweet version and a spicy version, so I got the sweet version. There's another piece in here as well. It's not just this like one small piece. It's like sticky. Oh, oh, like, it is like jerky. Mm, really good flavor. This is a legit piece of jerky. It's a legit piece of turkey jerky. It has a nice flavor, a little bit of sweet. It's dry like jerky is. Like, you would be able to snack on this, I feel like, during your whole reservation if you got one. It's not something that you're gonna sit down and eat, like, this whole, like, bag that they give you. But, a nice, like, go-to snack while you're here. Easy thing to take home, too. Matt, what did you just say to me? I said, I do feel a tingling now on my tongue. <laughs> it's like a, like a, a sensation of pup rocks, but like a very slight tingling on your tongue. Like, very subtle, though. We're trying the Outpost popcorn, located at the end of the marketplace, right beside Ronto's Roasters. Do you know what you expect? I don't know what to, they're just red and purple, right? Yeah, yeah. Do I try both of them at the same time? I think you have to try matter? both at the same time because they're different flavors. I can't place it. What is, the, what is it supposed to be? The purple is a little bit berry flavored, and then the red one has a, like a little bit of spice to it, but like... Okay, I can tell the sp little bit of spice. Very little spice. It tastes like Trix cereal. Oh, eating the red by itself, you're like, that is the spicy piece. Have some. <laughs> <laughs> 6.49 credits. It's like an okay size, but you're paying for a specialty popcorn, yeah. obviously. It's not normal popcorn. It's the only popcorn that's in Batu. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. I like it. You like everything. <laughs> 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 The Outpost with the popcorn also has the Coke bottles. I've seen the Diet Coke one, but then this is what their regular Coke bottle looks like. This is what I don't understand. Is like both of the, this should say like Diet Coke and then this should say Coke. So like this and this like they should look more similar than they do. Diet language is different. It is. Duh. <laughs> we came back to Docking Bay 7 because they have a few options that are dinner only, like this pot roast. Looks like we have some carrots on top. There's some little pearl onions. 
and it's supposed to come on top of pasta. Ooh, this smells amazing. So good. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this is so good. I've never had pot roast with pasta underneath it. Yeah, it really kind of, I mean, it kind of just falls off. Yeah, very good. Oh, yeah. yeah. A nice little gravy to it. It's got a really nice, like, it's not, it's not chewy. It, not chewy. Yeah. Not chewy. A nice gravy. This is a great meal. Oh, oh. I got the ribs today. Yeah, you couldn't, couldn't pass up. Couldn't pass it up. Yeah, it tastes like something that you would get at Cafe Orleans or like the French Market. I think they had pot roast. It's similar, but it's got a little bit of a different kind of gravy it's flavor. Really yeah, it's really nice. Day three to finish our food video. Gonna have a few different things today and came back to Docking Bay 7 to try some new drinks and the kids version of one of the entrees. We also have more friends, James and Lizzie. Hallie's here, she's got the ribs. I decided I wanted to try the kids version of the fried tip yip that comes with green beans, carrots, and mac and cheese instead of the mashed potatoes and a smaller portion of chicken. I gotta say, this looks more exciting to me than the adult version. This looks great. These are, again, some of the only vegetables that I eat. Good green beans. Oh, I like the noodles of this mac and cheese. They're very short. They're not like very long noodles. I would get this 10 times over the adult version, honestly. It's a little bit cheaper, but obviously a smaller portion, but the vegetables make this like a way better option for me, I feel. And it comes with a drink. Ooh, those carrots are good. They're so mushy. I like mushy carrots. Having the kids meal with the chicken doesn't come with the gravy. The chicken without the gravy, like I feel like it needs some sort of sauce, like a barbecue sauce, maybe a little side of the gravy. But it's not bad. It just feels like it needs like something else. Docking Bay 7 also has two specialty drinks. This one is the Moof Juice. It is fruit punch and orange and pineapple and chipotle pineapple. Very unsure I'm gonna feel about this. The yellow one is the Batu Bucha tea, which I didn't know how to say that for a little while. It's pineapple passion fruit kombucha. So I feel like I might be into this one more than this one, but we'll find out. Moof juice. It's like the weirdest name. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. I only taste, it, it just tastes like fruit punch mixed with pineapple. Very simple. I'm not, oh, I think there's the Chipotle. What is up with spicy drinks? It doesn't have as much spice as the Sarlacc Sour. So it's not too bad. Okay. But ba Bajubucha. I've never even had kombucha. Like, what does that taste like? We're I've never had any like it. Either, I'm not gonna like it? Oh. Great. <laughs> I've never had it because I was pretty sure I would not like it. <laughs> 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 nope. What is this? It's what is this? Somebody else try this. At first I was like, oh, it's not that bad. And then like it hit me. <laughs> this is the Beverly of Batu. <laughs> Fun experiment now. Now everybody can just be sad together. Said, it's no, like, I don't think it's as bad as you it's said not, it no, I mean, But it's not good. It's just not good. I wouldn't choose to drink it. I, yeah, I would never choose to drink out of this cup again. Yeah. Back in the cantina. Try a few more things. I... Oh, oh, she frozen. I got it. I have the carbon freeze. The carbon freeze has powered lemon lime, and strawberry and blueberry and green apple popping pearls. So you can see there's different colors in there. This, it tastes like an emergency. An emergency. <laughs> it, <laughs> yeah, the fizzing really gets you. I mean, it's not bad. 
It's yeah, fine. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, it's really hard to, like, get the boba with the drink um, because you have to basically finish the drink. You can't, like, I don't know. Uh, the straws are also too small to have the boba, which is the same thing that happened with the Jabba Juice when I first had it. You can't get the boba with the beverage. So it's kind of like it's cooler in there, but I would like it with the drink. I think it would make it better. This is Oga's Obsession. It's in a weird little Petri dish guy. This is basically popping pearls or popping boga in a jello, and it has pop rocks on it and some freeze dried berries. It's probably the weirdest looking thing here. It's just science. I love it, it's so weird. Oh, it's good. Um, yeah. The jello tastes like cotton candy jello. Maybe a strawberry pearl? The jello, it, like, it's very sweet. It looks weird, like it looks kind of small, but if it was, they're blueberry? Yeah. All right, I was wrong, it's a blueberry pearl. Candy it is cotton candy jello. Boom! Um, the pop rocks and the freeze dried fruit are like really interesting. So many things happening. It's really like mushy and like slimy, which I really like. Would recommend. You tell me what it is. I got party in my mouth. I heard the pop rocks this far away. I really like it. it's jello. Popping boba and pop rocks. Yeah? Cotton candy jello. Mmm. I really like it. Can I have some more? Yeah. James is gonna try the Oga's Obsession. He's also filming it, so his link to his channel will be below also. I'm trying another drink from Ronto's Roasters. This is the Milu Run juice. Pineapple, lemonade, blueberry, desert pear, white cranberry, just a little bit of everything, and it's the most beautiful color. She is tart, but really good. I think this is probably my favorite drink that I've had in Batu. Very tart, it's not sweet. The lemonade flavor comes through pretty strong. I'm not getting like a distinctive desert pear situation, but it mostly tastes like a blueberry lemonade with some like zhuzhin up. Really good, would recommend it, and it's beautiful. That is it for this visit of Batu. That is pretty much a wrap on all the food options. There's only like maybe three drinks that is not covered between this video and my first food video. If you wanna check that out, the link to that is below. That'll show you pretty much all the stuff that you can get like all the time in Batu. I would love to know what you would like to try if you are visiting Batu. Remember you need reservations through June 23rd. And then after that is there gonna be a free for all kind of. Good luck. Subscribe for more Disney content. I'll see you next time. Bye.